Today, we are going to discuss our AS Series Electric Spring Return Actuators. Our objectives in this episode are to learn the value of the recommended mode of operation and the major components of the actuator. The recommended mode of operation for the AS Series actuator is to electrically operate it to the open and closed position, and then only allow the spring energy to close the actuator upon loss of utility power. The value of operating the actuator in this mode is longer service life, less maintenance, less downtime, and less operational cost. Electrically operate the actuator to the normal operating position and then power on. This allows the spring energy to close it, as the normal operating mode exposes the gearing to high shock loads every time the actuator is driven to the closed position. This mode of operation, over a short period of time, will cause premature failure. Next, we'll discuss the major components of the actuator, the terminal strip. A terminal strip is where the incoming wiring connections are made. Next is the limit switch. The limit switch electrically controls the end position of the actuator. The motor brake. The motor brake is very important. It is a power on brake, meaning that as long as it is energized, it will be holding the actuator in position. When it is de-energized, regardless of whether you turn off the power or you lose utility power, the spring energy will close the actuator. The electric motor is the electrical source of power that rotates the gear to position the actuator under normal operating conditions. The spring adjusting screw. The spring adjusting screw is how you adjust the spring end torque of the actuator. The mechanical stop screw. This is where you set the fail position of the actuator. Now you know the benefit of using the recommended mode of operation and some of the major components of the actuator. If you have further questions, please contact us at 859-727-7890.